I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. Well, maybe it's just because you're ugly. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scout and today we're going to be talking about Cleopatra. Now when I say Cleopatra, I mean the infamous Netflix documentary or mockumentary, excuse me, about Cleopatra and how they portrayed her as black or, you know, African. To be clear, Egypt is located in Africa, but it is much closer to the Middle East than to like Southern, Central, anything Africa. We don't know a lot about Cleopatra. We don't know a lot about like Egypt in general. We, we do know some things, but like a lot of things are just like spoken between scholars of like, or debated between scholars of like, is, was this true? Did this really happen? And um, to say that black people like didn't live in Egypt, I think would be irresponsible. I believe that um, there most likely were people who have African descent who lived in Egypt, but we have a lot more context about Cleopatra. Um, we know a lot about her heritage. We know a lot about her, like, her background, who her family was, who she was. And we have depictions of her from the past. And it's hard to argue that she was totally black. I don't, my, personally, I don't believe that she was white, but I don't, I don't think she was black either. And I don't think that's racist to say that. Now, people are in uproar about this specific mockumentary because um, it is supposedly, it was supposed to be like taken as fact that like, and portraying Cleopatra as black was like supposed to be like, this is like who she really was. And Egyptians are really pissed off. They are actually suing Netflix, I believe for like a lot of money, like 200 million or something like that. By an Egyptian on behalf of Egypt for falsifying their history and misrepresenting them and like offending them basically. And I wholeheartedly agree with that action. Um, people cannot keep getting away with blackwashing um, people of history who were definitely not black. I think when it comes to like fictional characters, that's a different that's a different ballpark because. Like, I know I've said my piece on The Little Mermaid. I'm not gonna go into that again. Um, in the end, she is a fictional character. She is a fictional being. So there's a lot more room to debate whether or not that's really necessary. But also, she's not a historical figure who actually lived and existed and has been documented. So that's different than actually taking a real life person that existed that we know were, was white, like Anne Boleyn or something like that they made a uh, they made some sort of media in which she was portrayed as black even though she was a white english woman and it's just like why why do you have to do that why if you're gonna make a historic piece then and you want to the the person to be black then make a historic piece about a black a real black person rosa parks martin luther king like come on I, I don't understand why cultures and different people have to be stolen in order to do this. I think if you want to portray a black character, a, a historical black figure, go right ahead. That That's great. I don't care. I, I speak about different people. I'm not just talking about Cleopatra here because she is more speculated of like what her, what she looked like. Um, but as for people like Anne Boleyn, we have actual like more recent um, paintings in history. We have a lot more like historical evidence. We have so much about her that proves that she was white. Stop it, okay? Just stop. I don't understand why we have to... It's not racist to, to say that, okay? Like, this is a historical portrayal, and they're trying to make it seem like it's an accurate portrayal, and it's not. And the way that they explain their reasoning why is just hilarious. So let's get right into it. It's possible that she was an Egyptian. I imagine her to have curly hair like me and a similar skin color. I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. So powerful. Okay, what, what kind of authority does your grandma have to prove that? Like, that's like saying, I don't care what they tell you in school, Martin Luther King was white. See what I mean? That there's no difference. There is absolutely no difference. And to say that there is, is stupid. And 
I, I can see why maybe there's more room to like argue what she looked like because we don't know exactly for sure. But we also have evidence that proves she's not black, okay? Like, like down to the like melanin in her skin, like she is a, bl a black a black woman. Because we have art, we have like a painting of her, we have paintings of her, we have um, marble busts of her, we have pieces of art from the time where she, when she lived of people who were around her who like depicted her and it shows she's not black. I think she at least probably looked more Mediterranean and she is of Greek and Macedonian descent. Greek and Macedonian people were light-skinned. I'm not saying they were white, but they were light-skinned. You know, how mo most uh, Mediterranean peoples um, today usually have a more olive-toned skin. It's, it's very beautiful. I actually kind of jealous, but <laughs> there's beautiful olive-toned skin. It's not white, but they are also not black. So to say that she is black is just not true. I know I'm no expert on it, but I don't need to be to know that. And to keep pushing back on this, and to call me racist by saying, or like call me wrong. I'm not saying I know everything, but it's really not that hard to figure out. You can have Cleopatra, but then we get Jesus. <laughs> so as an Egyptian, I can speak for most of my people on this, I'm pretty sure. No deal. One, Cleopatra was never black. Just never was. She was Greek. We know it. We don't say Cleopatra, she was pure Egyptian. No, we acknowledge the history. We acknowledge the truth. That's all we are asking for. Stop rewriting our history. Stop trying to rewrite our culture. Stop trying to bring racial wars to Egypt. It doesn't exist. Egyptians and the rest of the Middle East, we don't have black and white. We don't label people by the color of their skin. We don't do it. We don't need that. So we need to stop. You need to stop. Don't make jokes about it. Take it seriously, because if the opposite happened, you would be up in uproar. So why don't we treat with each other with respect? Also, Jesus was Middle Eastern. It's a fact. He's only depicted as white because people are insecure about it. Not our problem. Okay. Shout out to Barbasaur Gaming. I think that's the guy who made this um, reaction. Mad respect. Uh, Go look for him, follow him, do whatever, support him, because he's absolutely right. Things shouldn't be black and white, and yet they are, and there is a race war, whether you like it or not. And it's just, it, there's no winning. Like, I don't understand why this is such a fight that people, this, why is this a hill that people want to die on? Like, I can get wanting more representation, having, like, black characters, celebrating all that. that that's a whole other thing. Like, you can have your black characters, your original black characters, whatever. Stop trying to rewrite other people's history or they will come after you for doing that. And they did. And to sit there and to be unapologetic about it, you're the racist, okay? Make a story about a person, a historical black figure, no problem, okay? Like you, you can do whatever you want, but to take someone's history, to rewrite it just to make yourself feel better and to have this like powerful black woman leading Egypt, like get over yourself, okay? Like, please, it's embarrassing. It really is. And <sighs> Jesus, I don't believe was black either. He, as this man said, he was, he was Middle Eastern, he was Jewish, he wasn't black. And if you believe he was, that's your own belief, okay? I'm just saying what I believe. And this and this isn't an attack on people who want like black representation or black historical figures in a movie. Like I am just saying when it comes to something you're trying to pass off as a fact, a historical fact, and it's not and you know it's not and you're just doing it to make yourself feel better, that's what I have an issue with. Queen Cleopatra actress Adele James has broken her silence on the blackwashing controversy surrounding her portrayal of the Egyptian pharaoh in Netflix's upcoming docuseries. Blackwashing isn't a thing, is it? The actress said, asserting, I find it sad that people are either so self-loathing or so threatened by my blackness that they feel the need to do that, to separate Egypt from the rest of the continent. The response from Egyptians, according to her, is 100% fundamentally rooted in racism. 
Ancient Egyptians, she argued, didn't think about race like we do, because race has only been contextualized as we understand it since the transatlantic slave trade. That's so pathetic. That is so pathetic. Really, you're just gonna hide behind the racism card? Because you know you're the racist? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm so threatened that you're black that I just have to call her white because I just can't handle her being black. Like, shut up! Shut up! And race hasn't been contextualized since the slave trade. There have been slaves forever, okay? Egyptians had slaves. They were one of, like, the largest civilizations to have slaves. Remember the Jews? Remember Moses? Hmm? Slaves to Egypt. Like, just stop playing the racism card. You're not a victim of anything. You're the bully. You are the problem. And that's not to say every black person's a problem. That's racist. But then you turn around and say every Egyptian who has a problem with you is racist. Get over yourself, please. Like, grow up. Get out of this mindset that everyone who's not black is against you. Because in at the end of the day, that is probably the most racist thing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have not drinking any water today, please drink. If you have not eaten today, please eat. If you have not taken your meds today, please remember to do so. And peace.